All right. I recently reached out to my friends over at Sweetwater.com because, well, first of all, I've known those guys. I've, I've known Mitch and the boys for several years, but I had an idea. I wanted to check out the cheapest guitar on Sweetwater, one, but second, I actually wanted to get a guitar that I could then upgrade in a future video and then give away to one of you guys. So that is what exactly is going to happen. So this video is gonna be us checking out the cheapest guitar on Sweetwater, and then I'm gonna make a follow-up video, and I'm gonna upgrade this thing, and then I'm just gonna give it away. So without further ado, let's get to cutting. Ha ha ha! Oh, you shouldn't have, guys. I don't need candy, but I'll eat it. <laughs> I will, I will eat it. All right, it's time to open this thing up here. Let me, let me get a little wider for you. So normally I would just be ripping and tearing, but knowing that I'm actually gonna give this away, I gotta pretty much preserve the packaging as best I can. So. Okay. Cool. All right, so what is the cheapest guitar on Sweetwater? Well, actually there were several at the same price point. This is an Epiphone Les Paul SL, and it was $119 right from Sweetwater.com. Now, I chose this for a few reasons. A, I love the aesthetic and the simplicity of the SL. It's just, it's really cool looking. It kind of reminds me of the guitar that Joan Jett uses or Johnny Thunders or something like that. It reminds me of a Les Paul Jr. Secondly, I love the satin black finish. I am a sucker for satin black. It just looks good. I just, I had to get it. So let's talk a little bit about the specs and the build of the Epiphone Les Paul SL. We have a poplar body with a mahogany neck. We have a 60s uh, profile, slim profile for the neck. We also have a 14 inch radius and we also have purloid dots, 22 frets, and a whole lot of rock and roll. Now you will notice that the Les Paul SL comes with two single coils. These are ceramic magnet single coils, so they will be a little hotter and have a little bit more output than a very vintage voiced kind of single coil. But enough of my yapping, let's see how this thing sounds. Okay, so what are my thoughts overall on the Epiphone Les Paul SL? Honestly, it's a damn good guitar for $119. Things I will probably change, actually I will change because we're fixing this up and giving it away to one of you guys. Um, one thing I would change out are the tuners. Uh, the tuners are kind of your standard entry level tuner. I wouldn't expect you know, Grovers or something like that on a $119 Epiphone. Um, also, the single coils, I wish there was a humbucker in the bridge. And maybe I'll put a stacked single coil, maybe. Also, I'm thinking about upgrading the bridge, although I didn't really have any problems with it 
while I was playing. I found that pretty interesting just by just by looking at it. I thought I would probably maybe have some cording issues of sounding out of tune. No, uh, the tailpiece is pretty good, but for the sake of upgrading, maybe we'll change that out too. But overall, for $119, huge bang for the buck. I wish they, they made guitars this inexpensive. When I started playing, go ahead and comment down below. Tell me what upgrades you would like to see for this guitar before I give it away to one of you guys. Let me know what you want to see, what you want changed. Do you want me to paint it? You want me to go totally nuts? Do you want neon green strings on it? The world is the limit. Also, huge shout out to my friends at Sweetwater.com for sponsoring this video and for sending me the Epiphone Les Paul SL to check out. And you guys have been wonderful. I have been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.